This joint that I'm chiseling out right now uh, is what we refer to as the rabbit. And so what that is, is um, it gives us a place to land that plank and caulk this bottom face to keep water from coming in through that plank seam. Uh, so the rest of the planks from here on out get butted together with about a third of the thickness caulked. But this first one up against is really tricky because we're creating that big kind of caulking bevel with the shape of this rabbit. And then as you look down the keel down the boat here, you can see them fitting that middle plank. It gives you an idea of that bird's mouth shape um, that is on the, the inboard edge of the garboard plank there. And that is specific to 17th century British ship construction. Normally you'd keep the plank uh, pretty close to 90 degrees, like a normal side of a plank. But this bird's mouth arrangement kind of gives you a little bit more of a lock. Um, and it adds support for the keel uh, into the garboard, kind of trusses that whole system up. These are definitely the most challenging planks uh, that go on the boat. As you pan your way forward through the rabbit here, you can see this is a stop water. Um, what that does is these great pieces and these large timbers that are part of the backbone, they have seams that run to the outside of the boat, so you can see like this lower gripe piece has a seam that runs up and then the one forward has another one that runs back and so water will run up the seam of these large timbers and what this does is it gives it a stop so our plank will go in there and then that ensures any water that's running up the seams from the outside of the boat won't make it to the inside of the boat so we've got I think we got three of those uh, you can see one cut a little bit further up and then there's one in the back of the boat that I actually, we just dropped those in today.